All right, good morning, everybody. So as you can see, we are at the shipper. Truck's a mess, see all this stuff. Cause uh, I still gotta fix my window. I just temporarily did it. Cause they didn't have this uh, little thing that holds the window. Which is this. Basically window sits in this. The other one is just full of glass. I couldn't get it out. But yeah, we're at the shipper loading up for Charlotte. And in the meantime, while we wait here, I might as well make a video on these new lights that I got sent to me. I'll put a link in the, in the Amazon website in the description down below. Uh, essentially, these lights, just like any other, I think they're 4 by 6 They come in a box. And you can see the whole mess back here and her making fun of me. But yeah, they come in a big box. Uh, that's the only thing different from this packaging. And then you get the individual lights, high and low beam. They both have high and low beam, I believe. So we'll see once we turn them on. I did recently put new ones on, but they're kind of already letting water in. I noticed. As you can see, these look pretty cool. A lot of people ask questions if they say DOT. They do say it right here. However, I mean, who knows if that's legit. <laughs> the back looks pretty nice. Looks like it's pretty water sealed, but they all do look like that. I, I noticed uh, they actually have a thing. Once you install it, you're supposed to do something to take all the water out. Apparently moisture does get in there or something or maybe I'm just I'm tripping. I'm probably just tripping But yeah, this is basically the light And then they all come with an adapter like this since the positives and negatives on the light are switched uh, uh, From your OEM headlights that are in there you have to use these adapters to kind of switch them around so for example like if this is your OEM positive, this is your OEM negative, and these are switched, you would just plug these in like so, or just mess them around. Since my uh, harness is not exactly OEM, all of my wiring is kind of a mess, so you can't really follow that. Uh, but I'm going to plug them in and uh, see how they look. And then tonight, once we actually get going to North Carolina, uh, I'm going to show you what they look like. But they should be pretty bright. I like how they look as well. And you can't really make a mistake. They are going this way, not this way, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as you can see, a truck is, it's always like in the works. There's always something being done. Like there's the fridge and just new gaskets for the door, the seals and, and a suppressor mat for the door panel. And we just didn't finish it because like, parts are not a fright liner and they didn't have it and uh yeah uh i have a feeling that we're gonna be here for a while since last time i was here me and the other driver we were here for like 18 hours 20 hours it was like ridiculous but hopefully that's not fully the case but i'm not really in a rush because my delivery is tomorrow night but we shall see but yeah i'm gonna let my gopro charge up a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and install these lights and show you what they look like all right so i was doing some stuff on the truck some other stuff so my hands are all dirty and yeah by the way yeah this used to be a guy having a middle finger up and then he ended up taking it off and here the sticker says what are you staring at it's in bosnian but yeah these lights are like pretty straightforward you just bolt them off so we'll just do that real quick you just bolt them off and you plug and play the new ones. I connected both of these. Well, I guess that wasn't really holding. I connected both of these to be high beam. So they're like really, really bright. It is kind of chilly outside today put these in my pocket I've learned my lesson to uh, 
Always keep some dirty clothes in the truck. So this is what I was talking about. So this light is not supposed to have a low beam. So what I did is see this black wire, I brought it over to have low beam. So both of these are low beam and high beam. However, since these lights are so bright at night, people seem to think my high beams are on because both of them are on. So I might not do that with this one. But again, your lighting is gonna depend on your truck and how it's wired. All you do is just plug and play and I mean, mess around with the wires until you get it. So yeah, the bumper is cracked. Eventually I will be buying a new bumper. I, he told me to put a different bumper on that he has, but it's like a big 20, 22 inch bumper. And I didn't want anything that low. Just because, you know, I'm a rookie and I do run over curbs. I don't want to knock that bumper out, but eventually I'll end up getting a bumper for myself. Maybe like an 18 inch square or something. Since I already have the adapters in there, these lights should just plug and play. So I'm going to install both of them. Let's see. This stuff is rusting already. As you can see, these are pretty cool too. But I mean, I just got some other lights for free, so why not install them and see how they look? And I mean, as far as the wiring, positive negative stuff should be the same on both of them. So I don't think anything has changed in there. All right this on and these are your your bolts for adjusting how tilted your headlights are get my drill I mean they look pretty cool I like them They could almost match with these lights because they're both black. Like have the outer ones like this and the inner ones different. Yeah, truck's a mess. And the crazy thing is I had it washed a few days ago. I don't know how people keep their trucks immaculate. I guess they just run in nice weather. But whenever I go up east or, or I go to pickups where it's like a gravel lot, It's like nearly impossible to uh, keep your truck clean. All right. Let's make sure that's tightened up. Nice and snug. That looks pretty straight. It's dumb that they don't have a bolt down here to pull it in as well. So you could tilt it even better. But uh let's see, let's install this one. This one goes up here, just as they're sitting, so I don't lose how they went on. Well, there goes my phone. I'll just set it on the ground there. He'll be all right. And then I ordered some lights for those there, as well as the side marker lights. this 
you know what I'm just going to connect both of them and see how that works out at night if they're like way too bright or pointing then I'm going to disconnect them but for now this shall do where did I throw the bracket? It is freaking chilly. I've been here for like an hour and a half and they, they still didn't start loading me. At least they gave me a dock, I guess. But if this takes a long time, then I'm gonna be out of here. I won't be waiting here, go find another load or something. It just sucks, cause you know, I started my clock and wasted my hours to get here. And then I have to go elsewhere, you know. That looks pretty even. They look good. Except this light looks lower than the other one, but I think that's got to do with this whole housing assembly. Let's put this on. So for lows, you have to turn on the truck. So I'm gonna go have my fiance turn it on and flash them, see how they look. And hopefully, I actually connected them properly. I don't have to take all this off to reconnect them, but that looks pretty dang cool. Let's go turn it off and see how it looks. So those are the other ones. Those look pretty cool. we go some high beams that is nice and bright that looks pretty sweet I think they'll be much better they're pointing down way less as you can see than these they look cool low and then high all right shut the truck off Yeah. Shut it off. Yeah. That looks good. We're going to get loaded here, do the other one, and catch you guys later to show them at night. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We are rolling. I, uh, I left a little bit late, and... Uh, I just don't like these types of loads where it's like it's on a border of how much you can drive and how much you cannot make in one day on ELD. I'm going to Charlotte, North Carolina and it's about 720 miles and usually up on 40 or down on 40 should I say I can manage to get about 670 miles obviously depending on how heavy I am but at you know 20,000 pounds 25 there's a lot of 50 mile an hour speed limits it's very curvy uh, I get about 670 660 so it's literally an hour more than what I can make 
with the ELD. So usually like you gotta leave a whole day early just to make that. But uh, so yeah, I'm like a little late. I went home and I did uh, I did uh, what was I gonna say? I did my eight hour break actually. So all of the hours that I didn't use earlier, I got rest of that after eight hours and I ended up staying longer than I was going to and uh, I only had an hour and a half left. So basically, my goal is to squeeze out 100 miles. So I have 620 miles tomorrow left to do. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, I wanted to drive at night and show you guys these new headlights. I must say, when this person reached out to me, uh, I was very skeptical, like, okay, just another headlight, you know, there's a bunch of $100 headlights on Amazon. And the main issue with them is they blare into incoming traffic or oncoming traffic. They look like high beams. You cannot adjust them properly. You see me install these today. And I must admit, no, they are not as bright as the other ones, but they are great. Like they point out a lot more down. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't like shine all the way straight. So they really do point down the low beam does the high beam really does shine out and why which is what it should do but the low beam i would say you know i'm pretty impressed and for the price that these lights are which i think they're like a hundred dollars i'm going to include the link below i really think you can't beat it i think it's you know it's really a great price actually for, for something of that price point even if you went through, you know, them more often than other headlights. Like, the only headlight that they market that has like a crazy warranty and they're heated LEDs and, and they don't blind people are the JW speaker. But those headlights, the four by six headlights, they're like $250 for one. So you're talking about $1,000 for a set. And these are like $100, but before this truck, drives by I'll show you the high beams well actually the guy's coming my way we'll let him pass by and I'll show you the high beams and it may not look like a huge difference but let's see as you can see they're really like just wide enough you can't really see much difference but to me it's enough difference it really shoots them wide to where you can see anything on the side of the road you know, I, I'm pleasantly surprised with them. I would definitely buy these lights myself. But so far, they're good. How they're going to hold up over time, I really don't know. But so far, so good. Uh, no complaints at all whatsoever. Especially for the price point. And then you can see my interior lights are holding up nice as well. And I can always dim them down if they get annoying. Just as such the camera you can almost not see them but to me this is like bright just enough to where I can actually read the gauges but not too bright to be annoying I don't know I'm a fan of these lights yeah we're just rolling uh, until I run out of hours then I'm gonna stop and uh, go to sleep take my 10 and drive the rest tomorrow and then uh, I was supposed to get the key lock cylinders since this one is broken on the driver and the passenger doesn't even have one that's working so I need to replace that and the handle but the Freiliner was supposed to get them but they didn't so it's kind of a pain in the rear and the mirror is just temporarily sitting up so I mean the window so I need to fix that but yeah that should do it for today guys enough blabbering hopefully you guys like the video if you do have any questions please feel free to ask if you have any other questions that you want to ask me personally my email is in the bio hit that subscribe and uh, again thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one